Welcome to Era Shapers, where we unravel the tapestries of history to reveal the legends that shaped our world. Today, we embark on a journey through time to uncover the life of a figure whose legacy transcends the ages. In the annals of history, some names become legends enveloped by the mists of time. One such name that left an indelible mark in the annals of history is that of Tokugawa Ieyasu. Not just a mere name, but a figure so monumental, his influence shaped the very fabric of Japan. Emerging from the tumultuous era of warring states, he was a man of unparalleled vision and unfathomable determination. Birthed in tumult and adversity, his life was a testament to the spirit of survival. He was a leader, a ruler, but above all, a visionary. He turned the trials of his life around him into stepping stones, paving the path towards a unified Japan. In the crucible of war, he crafted a system of governance that would bring peace, a peace that would last for more than centuries. He was a man not without controversy, but history remembers him as a beacon of unity in times of strife. A master of strategy and a shrewd politician, his decisions shaped the course of Japan, steering it away from the precipice of constant warfare. His legacy is etched in the heart of Japan, his influence still palpable even in the modern era, but who was this enigmatic figure, and what secrets lie behind his storied legacy? Our tale begins in 1543, in a country ravaged by the relentless turmoil of war, with the birth of a child named Ieyasu. The nation was embroiled in a ceaseless cycle of violence and despair. In this crucible of chaos and devastation, amid the ruins of countless battles, emerged a newborn, crying his first cries, unknowingly destined for greatness. Ieyasu, born into a world of strife, was not merely another child of the era, but a beacon of hope. His birthplace, a land torn and fractured, was in desperate need of a stalwart leader. It yearned for a figure of unyielding resolve, someone who could stand against the wave of destruction, rebuilding the fragments of a once majestic civilization. Amid such chaos, Ieyasu's birth became a symbol of potential change, a glimmering ray of hope in the darkened skies. The times were uncertain and the path ahead treacherously fraught. Yet, in the heart of this whirlwind of unrest, destiny had a plan. It weaved its intricate tapestry around the life of this newborn, setting the stage for the rise of a leader unlike any the world had ever seen. From the ashes of conflict, a leader emerged, destined to command with an iron will. A pivotal moment came on the 21st of October, 1600, the Battle of Sikigahara. This was not an ordinary skirmish. It was a historic moment that shook the very foundations of feudal Japan. It was a cataclysmic event that forever altered the course of this nation's history. What made this battle significant was not just the sheer number of combatants involved, but the titanic clash of wills, ideas, and ideologies. This was a time where the land was shrouded in an almost perpetual state of conflict, with rival vying for control over the Japanese archipelago. Amidst this chaotic backdrop, the Battle of Sekigahara emerged as a turning point. At the heart of this battle was Ieyasu, a man of indomitable spirit, unwavering determination, and unparalleled military acumen. Strategically located at the of major trade routes, Sekigahara was a prize worth fighting for. With his ingenious strategy, Ieyasu cleverly maneuvered his forces, ensnaring his adversaries in a deadly trap. It was a game of chess played on a grand scale where the stakes were nothing less than the future of Japan. With his power and might, Ieyasu overwhelmed his rivals, crushing them beneath the weight of his superior strategy. His victory was not merely a triumph of military prowess, but to his visionary leadership. And it was this victory that paved the way for Ieyasu's ascension to the Shogunate. Thus, with strategy and might, Ieyasu vanquished his rivals, paving his way to the Shogunate. Yet the path of history is never straightforward. As we delve deeper, we unearth stories of intrigue that are often buried in the sands of time. They speak of secret alliances, of shadowy deals that echo in hushed conversations. Each whispered rumor, each fleeting glance holds a piece of a larger puzzle. Whispers of a secret pact with the Portuguese, covert meetings behind closed doors, and clandestine exchanges with Christian missionaries. These were not just casual interactions. 
Every single one was a calculated move, part of an elaborate strategy, a move in a grand chess game of power. As the shogun Ieyasu's reign ushered in the Edo period, a time of dramatic and significant transformation. This era is famously known for its incredible artistic innovation, with new styles and forms emerging that would forever shape Japanese art and culture. The Edo period also saw a deep emphasis on social order, with hierarchies and structures solidified under Ieyasu's rule, shaping a society of harmony and relative peace. But perhaps the most notable move during his reign was the establishment of the Sakoku, or closed country policy. This was an edict that essentially sealed Japan's borders from the rest of the world with the intention of preserving sovereignty. This isolationist strategy, often perceived as a secret gambit, was a pivotal move that indelibly shaped Japan's unique trajectory. As a result, the country was able to maintain its distinct culture and values despite the growing influence of Western powers globally. But what of the man behind the crest? A man of mystery, enshrouded in rumors, whispers, and shadows. Stories swirl around him like a tempest, each one more intriguing than the last. There are whispers of a library, not just an ordinary one, but one bursting with forbidden knowledge. Imagine, if you will, a room filled to the brim with ancient tomes and scrolls, each one holding secrets, waiting to be discovered. Could such a place exist? And then, there's the connection to William Adams, an English navigator of notable reputation. Adams, who crossed lands and seas, who defied tradition and became a samurai. The relationship between these two men is shrouded in mystery, sparking intrigue and wonder. Iyasu's demise in the year 1616 was not an end, but an echo through time, resounding, bouncing off the walls of history and seeping into the very fabric of Japan's legacy. His demise marked not the termination of a dynasty, but the start of an era that would see peace prevail, a lineage that would stand the test of time. This lineage, the Tokugawa, would continue, not for a mere decade or two, but for over 250 long years. The span of these years, the breadth of this time, was filled with rhythmic tranquility that was rare in the annals of history. The Tokugawa dynasty was a symbol of peace, it was a beacon of hope in the midst of chaos. It was built on the solid foundation of a shrouded past, a past that held tales of turmoil, a period that echoed with the fierce battle cries and the desperate pleas for peace. Tokugawa Ieyasu, a name etched in eternity, a figure of immense historical significance that carved his name on the canvas of time. We have embarked the life and times of this man, a legendary shogun, a strategist, a warrior, and an empire builder. His life, a complex and intricate tapestry woven with threads of unveiled secrets, hidden truths, and layers of enigma. His existence was not just about living, but an era, an era that was shaped, molded, and constricted by the unseen, omnipotent hand of a shogun. His influence reached far and wide, leaving a lasting legacy that we still experience today in the cultural and political landscapes of Japan. A ruler, a guide, a symbol of authority, Ieyasu's impact is undeniably profound. Join us on Era Shapers as we delve deeper into the lives of such transformative figures of mankind.